I want one. Turn around and sit there for like 10 seconds. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. If I can read it, then you read it already. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get it started in here. Today, we're going to talk about what is the cost? Hmm. Yesterday, I was in the gym, and I we were talking about knives and so on and so forth. And you guys know that we had a big knife giveaway from Cold Steel here, what, about two months ago? I guess here, about two months ago, we gave away the, uh, the Cold Steel Chaos knives. And I, I guess they're around 89 bucks or something like that. I, I don't know the exact amount. But I was talking with one of the instructors who has sons, who has teenage sons or a teenage son, uh, about knives and knife training and what have you. And I said, hey, did you see the new Cold Steel knife? Uh, and he said, no, I haven't. I said, okay, well, I've got one. I can show you. So I show it to him, and, and he looks at it, and he feels it, and holds it, and kind of moves it around in his hand, takes it in and out of the sheath like you would do. We show it to the 15-year-old, and the first thing out of the 15-year-old's mouth is, how much does it cost? And I thought, hmm, that is an interesting topic for today. When you encounter something new, a new concept, a new idea, a new product, a new whatever, what is your first response? Is your first response, what is it made of? How does it work? How does it function? Is it of value to me? Could it possibly be of value to me? Is that your first question? Or is your first question, how much does it cost? Well, I don't know. I, you know, and my, my answer now when, when I offer or display or show something of value and people say, well, how much does it cost? A million dollars. A nickel. I don't know. Does that matter? Is that the most important thing? So if I handed you a piece of crap, but it, it was priced right, you would want that? I want you to ask yourself, how much money do you invest in yourself in entertainment versus how much money do you invest in yourself in education? Hmm. Exactly. How much does it cost? Yes, everybody has a finite amount of money. Everybody has a certain amount of disposable income. I get that. And I don't expect you to spend a million dollars. But ask yourself this, before you say, how much does it cost? Say, is that something that's gonna be of value to me? Whether it's education, whether it's a product, whether it's something you can hold in your hand, is that going to be something, Jared, what did you learn about marketing and sales? It's not the cost, it's whether or not the person has the psychological need or desire for that. For that product, yeah. For that product. And then just, the cost comes in second. I was just gonna ask if I could weigh in. Is that so what you're- Am I allowed to weigh in behind Sure, the weigh in from behind the camera. I'll sip my coffee. I'm gonna weigh in from behind the camera. And I would say to you, I'm gonna expand on what he's saying a little bit. Monetary cost is not as important mm -hmm. as, I mean, I guess it's kind of what you're saying, but I'm gonna say it in different words. Monetary cost is not as important as your time. The time that you invest, you don't ever get time back. You can get money back. So I'll use an example here of how many people, how many of you go out every day or three times a week to a bar with your friends and stay there for four hours three times a week? So that's 12 hours a week. Take That's that, a lot, yeah, but take, let's say two hours. Okay, two hours. Take that two hours, invest it into educating yourself on something, something that you have interest in, it, or there's something that you have interest in. For all of what you- What could you do with two hours a week for an entire year? You would be, a, you would, maybe not a master degree, but you would have a lot more information than you did when you started. Cost versus value. If your first question, and let's be honest with ourselves, most people use cost as an easy way to talk themselves out of something. Well, yeah, I, I would like to have that. I'd like to take that class. I'd like to have that gear. I'd like to, I'd like to, but cost, so I'm not going to, and it becomes an excuse. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, how much money am I spending on my own entertainment versus how much money am I investing in myself on education? And if they're like this, be honest with yourself. When you spend money, say, is this for entertainment value? Is this to distract me? 
or is this going to enable me? Is this going to help me to do something more or better? When it comes to investing time, people say all the time, oh, I don't, you know, I don't have time to read. I don't have time to read. Don't have time to read. Horse crap. Horse crap. I bet you I could follow you around with a stopwatch for 24 hours and you would waste minimum 30 minutes to an hour looking at your phone, looking at stupid crap. Well, but I'm reading on Facebook. Yeah, uh, I'm scrolling through the, the news stories on the Facebook. Yeah, no. You have time to read. It's do you want to invest the time in it? You have money. Oh, no, you're, you're, you don't know me. Hey, you don't know me. Okay, let's do the stop. Let's, I'll follow you around for 24 hours. How much money do you spend on stupid, superfluous crap? Be honest with yourself. Yeah. You want, you want me to tell you how to make it really easy for you to be honest with yourself? Get QuickBooks. It categorizes stuff for you. <laughs> You'll look at that and be like, wow. How, you know, I go through your seats. How much money on. did you spend on Taco Bell in one month versus? And you know what? Spend your money on whatever you want to spend your money on. I don't care. But don't look at me or others and say, no, I don't have time for this, or that training class is too expensive, or I'd like to have good gear versus crappy gear, but I just can't afford it. No, it's all about priorities. What is the cost needs to be secondary after what is the value. And I understand that they're not always uh, tied closely together, but let's face it, you're not gonna get a Cadillac for Chevy prices. You're not gonna get a Harley Davidson for Honda prices. And no, don't write me letters about Harley Davidsons and Hondas. I really don't wanna know. You're not gonna get a Learjet for Piper Cub prices. It doesn't work that way. So ask yourself, A, how much money am I spending on entertainment versus education? And B, what is the value first? Then examine the cost. And that's it for Morning Mindset this week. Thank you very much for joining us here at Student of the Gun University. And don't forget, if this is the first time you've ever done this, go to studentofthegun.com. There's a big orange button that says seven training tips that could save your life. I'm gonna give you this info for free. Click it, follow the instructions like an adult human and go from there. The cost is zero, the value is, it's literally invaluable. Whatever your life is worth. There you go. Uh, I want you guys to check in. In the comments below, mm. check in. Okay, yeah, well, I didn't tell them to check in. Where are you? I'm sure some of them already did that. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see any. Where are you on planet Earth today? I'm just curious. Pennsylvania. Did, did our Antarctica guy come back? Kansas City, Missouri. If you're in South... At home. At home. Baltimore. There you go. Oregon. South Africa. St. Paul, Minnesota. Traffic? Oh, in traffic. In traffic. traffic. Anybody in New Zealand? <laughs> you watch uh, Florida, Virginia, California, Massachusetts, California, Minnesota. We're not getting anybody outside of the United States. Wow, maybe, they, maybe they blocked us. Oh, no, California. I, I would That's outside that of outside the United States. States. Yeah. Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Kentucky. Come on, guys. Woohoo! Alabama. Yes, this is the AAFU. Buffalo, New York. That's also outside of Waco, Texas. Well, New York is, is the East Coast, California. It's the California of the East Coast. St. Charles, Paris, Louisiana. That's pretty close to us. We're in Biloxi. That's where we're headquartered. Mm.